Hello everybody, welcome back to the front line, Effective Pawn here once again, um, and I am just more pissed when I log on today and look at this map. Um, like usual, I've been trying to stay up to date using the Foxhole War Stats page and the War Report app on my phone uh, when I'm at work, just to try to stay up to date on everything. Um, and when I get on today, we are, we are getting pushed really far south man i think this is the end game for us this is about where we had the wardens before um in war 45 and then it is catalyst from there uh i'm a little upset this is gonna be a loss but i think that's pretty much how it goes i'm pretty sure it goes wardens win colonials win wardens win colonials win um i could be wrong but that's kind of what it seems like to me uh and I'm hoping that that means that the next war will be a victory that we can claim. Now, I know I'm talking about it like it's already over, and admitting defeat is the first step to losing. However, I mean, if, you, if just look at this, man. Like, it, we're surrounded. They're slowly regaining this areas that we've been trying to take back. It's just, it's, it. Realistically speaking, this is this is the final countdown now. Um. We put up a hell of a fight. We were mostly on the run the entire time. I I don't know if it's because the Wardens used their resistance phase very wisely, or if it's because of Discord and squad communication, or if it's because they have more players in Asia who can be on here at night to do shit <laughs> when the rest of us uh, over here are not able to do it. So I don't know what's going on, um, but... <laughs> The Wardens are definitely kicking our ass this time around. Now, I think that when the Resistance phase begins, we're going to try to get a little bit more serious. Um, the last time, uh, we didn't really fuck around during the Warden Resistance phase because it was New Year's, and I don't think anybody really did anything. But this time, we're definitely going to try to stay ahead of the game, uh, get shit built, get shit from the Wardens fucked up. And uh, I'm, I'm considering trying to start a squad every time I join in. So that way uh, I can corral some new people and kind of show them, you know, what to do, what not to do. Uh, I don't know if I'll record those or not. I might record portions of them. It's going to be gameplay. So like when we're fighting and stuff, I'll record that. I just don't know if I'll record the coaching and all that. Um, but it's definitely something I'm, I'm thinking about doing because I do think that we need to take the newer players under their wing, under our wing and kind of show them the ropes. Um, and plus, like I've said in the war recap, it helps to have a squad underneath you because then it becomes um, like a small turn-based tactics game uh, like XCOM or something because then I can use these these newbies um, to help maneuver better. Because I, I feel like I do all right when I'm by myself when you get the jump on players or when you go in. But I have realized that even just having two or three people with you, which is as obvious, having a team with you. Uh, makes it easier because then if you if you can have a medic you can have a guy with rpgs um you know you can diversify your loadout and still remain quick on your feet plus it also helps you you know flank enemies and get a larger volume of fire down range for suppression so if we could start teaching new players those tactics uh, i feel like that would be a good way to go about it i don't have much experience using vehicles i've only ever been the gunner in a tank once um, I've driven a truck for Logi, obviously, um, and I've been on barges. I haven't ever actually driven a barge, and I stole somebody's motorcycle once. But I'm mostly infantry focused, and I'm usually that way in most games I play. Like even way back when I was playing uh, Company of Heroes, like even in that game, I mostly used infantry. Um, I didn't really rely on armor, uh, but I used a lot of uh, infantry. The infantry are able to combat armor. And that's something I like about this game is that as long as you're properly equipped or you're coordinating with a team, then the infantry can pretty much tackle any obstacle that comes their way, provided there's enough of them and they're properly equipped. Um, so I do like to focus on infantry, and I think that's a pretty basic thing to start with. So if I do start running the squad regularly, it'll probably be infantry-based, and um, more often than that, we'll either be being defensive or supporting squads as they move into offensive positions. I don't ever want to be the spearhead with a bunch of newbies because that's a good way for them to all die. And then we lose soldier supplies, we lose men, and we lose time. Uh, but I think it's really important to try to teach everybody when to attack, when not to attack. And I know I'm still new myself, and sometimes I make bad judgment calls. 
but I feel like somebody who just spawns in and either just finished tutorial or even skipped the tutorial, because I know a lot of people do that, when they spawn in, they're probably just going to grab a bunch of ammo, a bunch of guns, you know, and then run off into the fucking fog of war and get killed by some automated foxholes. Um, I did a lot, a couple, well, not a lot, but I did it a couple times, even having played the tutorial and sticking around with experienced players. There were times where I said, okay, I'm going to try and do something myself now, and went off and fucking died. And had to respawn all the way back and wasted soldier supplies and yada yada. So, I, I really think that everybody on the Colonial team needs to start doing that. Um, and all the new players spawning in the Colonials need to start going to experienced players. Really need to get coordinated and try to focus our efforts on areas. The Wardens have done excellent flanking maneuvers. They've succeeded several times with naval invasions. Um, I've seen a few Blitzkrieg's with tanks and half-tracks. So they're, they're really well-rounded tactically, and when they're properly equipped, they are a devastating force. Um, I know there's a lot of Wardens watching us right now probably jacking themselves off when I say that, but don't break your fucking arm, okay, guys? We're going to win this time. Uh, Y'all fucking, the Wardens have lost wars before, so it can't, they can be defeated. They're not just kicking our ass repeatedly, but I see in this chat and stuff that people... That once you start losing your own ground, like once we started losing Lockmore and the Drowned Vale and Endless Shore and things like that, people really started to feel defeated. Um, they like they're just like I don't what's the what's the point in playing now because the wars are just gonna keep sweeping through. Well, as soon as you do that, you stop spawning in, you stop fighting, the war's lost. So, I mean that I think that kind of sealed our fate right there is that we did not do as well in War Forty Five starting off this time. And people felt discouraged and uninspired, and so people spawned less. And so the ones that were there had to pick up, you know, the slack and try to carry the whole fucking team. And that's not something you can do. This is a team effort. It requires people to pay attention and be active and be involved. Um, I'm not saying you got to be a fucking tryhard or anything like that. But when you play a game like this, it's not like you just join a match, play for 20 minutes or something like that in Call of Duty, and they get off of it. I try to have, I try to only play when I have like two or three hours to dedicate to this, and that's why I don't get to record very often, because you're only getting to see the two to three hours that I have time to play this every other day or so. Um, but when I'm in it, I try to be in there to win it. I try to get people together. I try to work with the experienced groups. If there's armor, I try to support the infantry. If I see a lodge that's unescorted, I stick with it and guard it. Uh, things like that. It just takes, you gotta have initiative, and that's something we're gonna have to teach new players, and we're gonna have to teach like everybody's gonna have to have morale checks man like we gotta we gotta stay happy like realistically we're probably gonna lose this but you can bet your sweet ass i'm about to go in here right now and fight my fucking dick off all right i will kill as many of these blue bastards as i fucking can before we lose these final four uh hexes here i stand by that so what we're probably gonna do looking at this here see that says friendly population max but there's no Q. that's weird um so Probably because, oh, I, oh, nobody's queued to go to it. That's what that means. Dumbass. See, that says friendly population 2 queued, but not max, so I'm confused. That's weird. Um, way back here, it's low, so I could spawn here, but then I can't really go anywhere. And back here, I'll just do Logi, and I don't want to record Logi. Um, so I'll probably spawn over here and get right into the fighting um, and record that. I don't think we make any ground today, but I did want to get on here and record the final bits of the war and give my little spiel about how I'm going to try to address War 47. Um, I'll probably repeat a lot of what I said today on my War 46 recap, um, but I'll try to keep it uh, as streamlined as possible and try to uh, not go over the same shit so much. But I'm, I'm really upset that we lost so quickly, and I think the, quick lo the early losses just beat our morale so bad that everybody else just kind of gave up. Um, and like I said, I think the Wardens are better organized on Discord and with the in-game squad function. And I also think they have more players in different time zones. Um, so and that could all be factoring in. I could be wrong about all of it. It could just be that the Colonials suck for some reason. Um, but, I mean, it really should be a fair fight. We have usually about the same amount of recruits. Um, our technology is usually on par at the same time. And... I don't know. We had the same tools available to us. I don't know if it's just because the experienced players like the Wardens more, and so they have more people, um, or like, you know, what that is. Or the Wardens were doing so well that a lot of the experienced clones were like, well, fuck this, I'm going to stop losing and go to the winning side. Because you can switch factions every war. It does cap out, but if you get in there first, 
then all the new players will get stuck on one side, you know, if all the experienced guys get into one team first. Um, I know the devs are looking at team balancing, but from looking all the, the at the stats from 2019 in their in their year in review video they did or their stream, I mean it looks really balanced. Like the wars have been fairly balanced. So again, I don't know why we lost this time, but War 47. I'm gonna try to take some newbies under my wing, um, get us better organized, and try to try to use better tactics and see if we can get some quick victories in the beginning and kind of secure our morale like back in war 45 um i will probably stick with the eastern front unless it looks different when the war actually starts and i am going to try to be more active in the resistance phase whenever that kicks off so again thank you guys for support please hit that like button because it helps me out and hit the subscribe button because it helps you out in staying up to date on the uh, uh, ongoings of war 46 um i'll be sure to let you guys know uh what my plans are more in depth in my war 46 recap um so you can have something to look forward to going into war 47 um but as it stands right now we're going to spawn in here see if we can kick some more boys in blue before uh before the war is declared theirs uh so again thank you guys very much for support i'm up to about 25 30 views per video on average now um and i have five subscribers so i can count them all in one hand i'm fucking happy about it i appreciate you guys so much I've had a fun time making these videos, and uh, I think I've rambled enough. This is like my longest intro ever, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and shut this motherfucker off, get in here, and see if we can do a little bit of fighting today. All right, <clears throat> we're up here at Hold Fast, uh, destroying their shit they got built. Oh, that fucking ran into barbed wire. Shoot them and not shoot yourself. Well, yeah. shoot your your allies. Yeah, there we go. All right, we took that motherfucker down. I'm thinking this one's probably going to be a longer video, guys. Here, here, here. There's medical supplies right here. Someone wants to pick it up. Yeah. Oh, I wish I had another gas grenade. No, oh, well, we just dominated him with volume of fire. Don't stop. Get up here to this one.
sorry, buddy. No, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not. Are you bleeding? Yay. We got a medic up here. <laughs> yeah, take that back. Oh. Yay. Enemy. You got fucked up. What a scam. I have a map and a bomb kill. Thanks, Doc. Making progress. That's our fucking foxhole, too, buddy. Alright, we got some tanks up here. Hopefully this push will go a little bit better. We're just gonna hold here. There's infantry just outside the dark. To the west, southwest. <clears throat> yeah, right over there somewhere. That's an enemy fucking vehicle, probably. Oh no, that's a friendly tank. Fuck yeah. Whew, I thought I was about to die. I'm gonna take that line. Oh yeah, we got some already up here now, buddies. That's their own fucking cannon. Absolutely, buddy. We got you guys. Don't worry. Whoa! <laughs> oh, thanks, Doc. Anyhow. That's only hello in Chinese. I don't remember how to say thank you in Chinese. Alright, we're gonna guard this stolen gun here. 
Come on, let's walk up, let's walk up. I just wanna be away from the Yeah, yeah, yeah. Enemy tank up ahead, back up. Back up, back up! Enemy BZ! Oh, I got a frog in my throat. Oh, excuse me. Y'all, oh man, y'all are fucked. Fucking armor. Back up, back up. Unless you got RPG, back up. Don't go up there. Don't go up there. Don't go up there. Don't go up there. It's a tank. There's a BT. Yeah, run me over, buddy. He was following me. Did y'all see that? Jesus Christ. All right, I think we backed up enough. Fuck that tank. Back up now. How am I hitting that rock? That's so dumb. Thanks, Duck. Alright, so we pushed up to here now. I'm not really sure what's going on with the road at this point, but we, some of us have flanked off to this hill. And I'm just going to sit in this foxhole for a minute, because I think they might be about to push back. Unless these guys move forward, and then I'll just get out. rifle because I'm about out of aim on the machine gun. Oh shit. Fuck you, dude. Oh. I have RPG on We have a medic over here? I can't believe those, none of those shots hit him, that's so dumb. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit! Oh 
Okay, so they're back up here. Great. That thing sucks. Fuck this LMG. They are at the edge of my range. I can't hit with none of those bullets. That's so fucking gay. Didn't get me, bitch. I'm not shooting till you get closer, man. You out of gas grenades? Oh, that sucks. Damn. Hmm. What you gonna do? I'm probably about to get fucked. Like, if just a BT is gonna roll up <laughs> and just annihilate the fuck out of me. Oh shit, there he is. Two of them, fuck y'all. What else is over here? Can I grab some? Take that, I'll take that, fuck it. Next time they pop up, we won't shoot them so quick. We'll see. We'll see what they do. There's one right there. Fuck yes! Because I didn't shoot at that one guy in the bush. That's what it was. Come on, buddy. Come back. Come back. Look at them fucking bodies, bro. Look at them bodies. Girl, look at that body. Girl, look at that body. Yeah, come on. Come on. Yeah, I can't see you. It's okay. It's okay. Idiot. Fucking idiot. Fucking dirty, dumb fucking wardens. Pieces of shit. Now nah, I love you guys though. Y'all are really good sports. I just like the end game racism. Seriously. I'm sure y'all aren't bitches in real life. Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. He got me. Okay, okay, stop, 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 stop. This place will stop. All right, buddy. I am, Marty.
Hit him once, that's all that matters. Oh, you got me. Uh, uh, run. We got a medic. Probably not. Put that on. Put that there. Oh fuck. What is that friendly? Come to me. Oh thanks, boss. Enemy tank. I don't have a bandage, my ass. Get running here for now. Does that firing holes? Yes. that light tank. So we're like eight of them. We got a CV up here now, building shit behind us. Fuck yes, I know where that tank is. Light tank coming down the road. I don't have a mask to revive him. We're pushing on the base. Fucking A. We need RPGs up here. Anybody back here have anything? Oh, you got an anti tank rifle. There's a light tank up here on the road, and there's also a half track back in the grass. Oh shit. Oh shit. There's an anti-tank rifle on my body. Oh, he got me. Pretty sure I got him. Oh, but the guy in front of me. I'm sorry, man. I didn't realize you got in front of me. I was looking off screen. My bad, brother. There's a sniper just outside. Wait, 
turn around. Oh my god, what turn around? <laughs> Alright, they're doing their own little pushback now. Like I said, it's basically a back and forth. I don't think I'm gonna get to partake much longer. But we'll see if we can kill some more of these bastards before uh before I gotta quit. I need a band-aid. A smoke grenade. I need a bandage. I need a bandage. Welcome to the losing team where you're not gonna win. Fuck them. Don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. Be a medic. Oh, sure, boys. Yes, thank you, doctor. Bro, I need a bandage. Okay, I gassed oh, him. Let's wait, see if we can do it again. Where is the enemy? I want to go. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Oh, I'm bleeding. Oh, fucking sniper. Let's get back here, look at the map real quick. Oh, they took out that tower. This is a bad idea. Bad idea. Bad idea. If you have a small penis, retreat. Just me then. Uh, I guess it's big dick energy time. What's going on? Oh, no, there's a bunch of wardens. That's scary too. Nope. Ah, yes! Jesus Christ, you're trying to kill me. It's almost like I'm in a war. <laughs> Holy fuck. It's the final countdown. <laughs>
All right, guys. So, like I said, today's video is probably gonna be a little bit longer, uh, just because I was trying to be in here a little bit more. I still didn't get to play for long, but it was a lot more action-filled. I feel like it may turn out that when I edit it, it is shorter than I'm thinking it's going to be. But I feel like this is going to be one of the longer ones. Um, ooh, random gunshot. Uh, I had a lot of fun today. Um, I think Westgate. I don't know. It was looking like we might be able to come back from it. I think we're working on securing this. I could be wrong. We did have buses going this direction. Um, but mostly we're trying to stop them from coming from Holdfast. Um, and it was going pretty good. We got all the way up here, but their BTs came in, and we don't really have any armor support. Like I said, for some goddamn reason, I don't know if the Warden's just better at using tanks or what, but our tank support never seems to last, or we don't have it at all. I don't know if our BT drivers are a bunch of pansies or or what, but it, they didn't hold out. We did have a light tank and a stolen howitzer up here, um, but they got taken out early on. So unless we get more anti-tank measures brought up here, which I think they're building AT guns and stuff when they get closer, I don't know how that push is going to go. So I'm, I feel like we're going to end up losing Westgate, and once that's gone, the Heartlands will be next. We do have a frontier base up here. So it looks like they're trying to push in, and Umbral, I think we're regaining territory here, so that's fantastic news. Um, and Shackled, I think, looks about the same. And I, I, I don't know, maybe we're doing shit up here, I'm not sure. But, I, like I said, I still believe we're in the end game. I think this is our, our final countdown, and the war is probably going to be over by tomorrow. Uh, but that's all I could actually show off today. I did have a long-ass intro. Um, but I try to show as much fighting as possible. I feel like I did pretty good. Um, and I, I would, I'd love seeing us Colonials be coordinated and pushing and defending like that. That was that was beautiful. I, that's the most of that I feel like I've seen um, in War 46. Uh, but again, I didn't get to play as often as I wanted to. Now, I'd say the next video I make is probably going to be skirmish gameplay if I get in in time. If for some reason I miss the skirmish phase, uh, which is very likely, then I'll probably just go ahead and skip and do a recap. Um, so I'm not sure what the next video is going to be, but it looks like this war is coming to a close. I've had such a good time recording this, I had a good time fighting in it, and I can't wait to go into War 47 and try to take some noobs and, and have a, a see if we can have a functional squad of people. Um, I don't know if I'm going to commit to that. It just depends on how it all works out because you can try and try to organize people. But if motherfuckers don't want to coordinate, they're not going to. Um, and such is the price of being a libertarian and an anarchist, I reckon. But I don't know. I have high hopes for the next war. I'm hoping that we're able to kick some warden ass. I think the resistance phase, if we utilize it properly, can help give us an edge. Uh, but as it stands right now, this is all I got to say on the matter. And uh, we'll see what the next video brings us. Uh, again, thank you guys so much for your support. Hit that like button because it helps me out, boosts my morale, makes me feel good. And hit that subscribe button because if you like seeing me talk shit and get my ass ate out by boys in blue, then you're going to want to stay up to date when a new video pops up. So again, thank you guys for your support, both you collies and you dirty, dirty fucking wardens. Um, I've had a blast. I can't wait to kick you guys' ass some more. And uh, thank you for blowing me up with that tank. I'm so, that was such a good run shooting all those fucking wardens and then that tank got me. I knew they was going to bring a tank up eventually. Uh, but no, it was a good game, good match. I think it's been a good war. And like I said, I appreciate your support no matter what side of this war you're on. Um, so that's all I got to say on it today. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys next time on the front line.